there. Welcome back to Kathy's Vintage Kitchen. Today I have my eight-year-old daughter, Hope, assisting me. And we are going to make a wonderful and easy peach strawberry jam. So let's get started. Here are the things you're going to need to make the jam. We went to the farmer's market yesterday and picked up these beautiful peaches. They're called Palisades Peaches here in Colorado. And they make a really nice jam. I also have some strawberries. And then the only other ingredients is going to be some sugar, some pectin. You buy this at any grocery store and it will be with your canning jars, which you'll also need. And then I like to put a little bit of cinnamon in my jams. I feel like it just gives them a really nice flavor and from what people tell me, they like it too. And then a little bit of lemon juice. So let's get started. So the first thing you'll want to do is to give your peaches a good washing and scrubbing. And then I'm going to peel my peaches and measure them out. Some people like to boil the peaches for a minute, but I just go ahead and peel them and chop them just as they are. And I'm going to measure out two and a half cups of peaches and two and a half cups of strawberries to equal five cups. And I'll be using five cups of sugar, equal parts fruit and sugar for this recipe. My assistant is busy measuring out the sugar as I prepare the fruit. So I am making strawberry peach jam, but the fun thing about this recipe is that you can use a lot of different kinds of fruits. If you wanted to do a blackberry peach, you would just measure out so that you had five cups total fruit, or you could even do raspberry peach or apricot peach. Um, all kinds of different fun combinations. So one thing that I really love to do is involve my kids in the kitchen as much as I possibly can, and they love it too. Right now I'm having Hope um, mash up the fruit to remove the larger chunks before we put it on the stove. We're almost ready to cook. Okay, so we're ready to cook. I have my measured fruit, my five cups, and I'm adding it to my saucepan. And then we're going to Take the pectin that you bought, and you're going to add six tablespoons. In the olden days, they didn't used to have pectin, but we do, and it makes a really nice jam. And six. All right, I'm going to bring this up to a rolling boil. Stirring. Don't want it to burn and stick to the bottom. And here I have my jars and my tongs and my ladle all getting sterilized with boiling water. Um, I have never purchased an official canner. I just, it seemed too laborious to me. So I just do it the old fashioned way. I boil everything for 10 minutes and then I process my jam and boiling water also. We have a rolling boil. I can't stir it down and I'm going to go ahead and add all my sugar, five cups, all at once. Incorporate that. And then once I've stirred it together, I'm going to boil it for one minute exactly. As soon as it comes back up to a boil, I'm going to put my timer on. Okay, so we now have a rolling boil that I can't stir down. So I'm going to go ahead and set my timer for one minute. And boil it exactly one minute and then remove it from the heat. All right, we have our cooked jam. I'm going to go ahead and add a teaspoon of lemon juice. Just help it thicken up. Add a little bit of citric acid. I'm going to go over to the stove and get my ladle, pull it out, and I'm going to start jarring up the jam. And I have also sterilized my tongs. I am ready to jar up the jam. So I have my sterilized ladle and I'm just going to start filling my jars. Be careful, it is quite hot. Alright, so I have filled my jars and I'm going to go ahead and take the sterilized lids, put them on carefully, I'm touching the outside of the lid there, 
and then I'm just going to, and I've left about an eighth of an inch between the top of the jam and the lid. That's called head space, and you need that for the um, air to expand when you can it. So I'm tightening it just to fingertip tightness, wiping the jar clean, and then I'm going to go ahead and process my jam. Also, you will notice that I did not quite make it to the top with this jar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this jar in the refrigerator. I'm not even going to process it because I know my family will want to eat it right away. And so it makes what's called refrigerator jam. Now my other jars I am going to go ahead and process in a boiling water bath so that I can keep them in the pantry for up to a year. And what could be better than fresh home baked bread and homemade strawberry peach jam? There you go. Thank you. Mmm. Thanks, Mom.